So welcome back um, to my channel. And let me quickly show you how you can register your 40k uh, device in case you're new to it and you want to, you know, set up the device to start, you know, doing the config progression and all that. So um, <clears throat> one of the things you need to do is to set up the 40 gate device. If it's an hardware, you need to set it up. You can check my previous video on how to set up uh, 40 gate devices and all that. And um, there are different ways to uh, to set to be able to register your 40 gate device. Um, the first one is you can use the serial number um, to register. So you can come to dashboard and copy the serial number. So in case of if a, of, of an hardware, so you need to copy the uh, the, the, the serial number. Then you come to um, go to support.fortinet.com. So make sure that you have you register an, an account. Or if you have an existing account, you can probably just log in. So it's either you register or an, an account on Fortinet, uh, support.fortinet.com, or you simply just log in with an existing account if you have uh, the credential. So I'm logging in to my existing account. So after logging in, one of the things you want to do is to come to um, products. You see, um, this, is the, this is the page you are going to um, have access to. Immediately you log into your support account. You can come to product to, to check the existing um, devices that you have um, in the account. Or, and you can go back to the uh, dashboard, then click on the register now. So in case of an hardware, you know, you have to copy this um, serial number and uh, paste it here and um, choose non-government, then click on next. The, the, the rest of um, the rest of the uh, page that will appear to you um, is just something you can be able to do with click on next, 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 and um, finish. So after that, um, ensure that does your 40 gig device have access to the internet so you want to set up the network um static route and put it as um default route as zero 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 to your you know internet uh, interface um one of the things that will happen is that as soon as you've been able to register uh, the device here uh 40 gates will be able to connect you know directly uh, with your 40 40 uh, 40 gate account uh, the 40 cloud, uh, 40 cloud account and you will see all these um uh, registered and all that the second method to to um to actually register your device is that assuming this is a vm which is actually a vm you know um a vm the way you register a vm is different from the way you are going to register um and and hardware so one of the things you want to do is that as soon as you get your license, a license will be sent to you. You have to purchase uh, a Fort Guard uh, or Fort K uh, license. So a license will be sent to you that contains um, the that contains the um, the registration um, code. So in this registration code, you just copy this code. As soon once you copy this code, then go to your support account, which is. Um, support.fortinet.com and on the dashboard um click on register now then you can see registration code you have to copy it and paste here then click on non-government then I, and continue till you finish so as soon as you finish um this process of registration when you come to your product list you see all the 40 gig device including the one you just registered then you click on it you click on the um the firmware then you scroll down to get device, uh, get the license file. So you you have to click on this and, and save it. So this license file, you are going to use it and upload it on the FortiGate device, which is the VM. So when you come to FortiGate device, then you come to um, system and you come to FortiGuard, then we let this um, finish. Then you see upload uh, license file. Once you click on this, you upload the license file. You just um, um you just the license file. You just um, you just generated. Then you click open and you click OK. So you ensure that 
this uh, 40 gig device has have access to, to the internet, ensure that the DNS is set correctly and all that. And once you do that, every other thing will be populated and your 40 gig device is registered. And the way to know that your 40 gig device is registered is that all these um, license, um, so far you have the license contract for all uh, the IPS web featuring and all, that. All, all of them will turn green and you'll see where they are registered to. Um, thank you. Uh, kindly like, share, and support. Bye.